Well, David, a lot more questions than answers when it comes to the moments leading up to the suspect firing his gun Friday afternoon. However, business owners and neighbors in the Beaumont Wilshire area say the victim in this case was allegedly the source of many issues around here for months. Monday afternoon around Northeast Fremont and 49th Avenue, streets stayed quiet with customers few and far between. A lot of businesses down the street are, you know, been slow this last weekend. A lot of them haven't reopened. This after a shooting Friday afternoon that left one man with life-threatening injuries. Just like what happened? Some, like Sarbagia Dongo, could hardly believe the sudden sounds. There was no noise whatsoever. Out of a sudden, we are too big noise, bang, bang, no argument, nothing. Anton Fuller witnessed the immediate aftermath in the parking lot. I was having a quick break out back. I heard two gunshots in quick succession. I stood up and I saw a guy uh, bleeding profusely. He ran back inside his pizza shop to make sure everyone was safe, then saw a man with a gun out front. When I saw that, I locked the door. I said, we are done. No more orders. Uh, everyone get down. Let's get safe. As soon as we found out that the shooter was not a threat, uh, you know, we offered him water. Um, he waited for authorities to arrive, was cooperative. Court documents confirm what Fuller saw firsthand. The suspect separating himself from the scene and the gun waiting on a bench for officers. Portland police charged that man, 58-year-old Andrew McNulty, with attempted murder. Witnesses told officers the victim was walking directly towards McNulty, gesturing as if asking for something. The suspect displayed a gun, but the victim kept walking towards him. That's when he fired the shots. He made no statements to the police at the scene. McNulty appeared in court Monday afternoon. Here's how the prosecution characterized the case. Uh, you're from a legal perspective, this would be a, a likely the victim uh, being the initial aggressor, but there not being sufficient justification for use of deadly force as opposed to physical force. Neighbors say the victim had a history of harassment in the area for the past several months. Unfortunately, the victim, you know, has been a bit of a nuisance in the neighborhood. I think that what happened was an extreme uh, retaliation to what could have easily been handled by the city with simple care, um, proper resources for mental health facilities. Um, I don't know the reason of the shooting, if it was self-defense but uh, I think bear spray would have been plenty. Detectives say the victim was shot in the chest and in the leg. PPB just updated us within the last couple of hours, confirming he remains in the hospital, conscious and recovering. As for the suspect, he was released from jail until his next court appearance. We'll be sure to update you as we learn more. David. Thanks, Alma. I appreciate